Hello everyone. Three months ago, I made a tutorial on how to get the Roblox app beta but it wasn't easy to understand, and so today, I'm making this remastered tutorial to help you understand this better. Before we start, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel as I would really like to hit 10k subscribers by the end of this month. Let's get into the video. First of all, I want to tell you guys that you will need to repeat the tutorial every week due to Roblox updating in different folders. There is a workaround if you got Python installed though, which I will show you at the end of the video. I would also like to give a shout out to Lucas Tutorials Simo for providing instructions on how you can do this. To start, we want to search for Roblox Player and press Open File Location. After this we want to copy the Roblox player shortcut and paste it onto our desktop. Right click the shortcut you've just pasted and press properties, and we want to change the target location of the shortcut. Change the executable file from Roblox player launcher.exe to Roblox player beta.exe and add an extra dash next to app. Run the shortcut and if you've followed this correctly, you will see a sign in page. I've already signed in. I want to show you some of the new user interface in the app quickly, take a look. As you can see the UI is very similar to the UI in the mobile app. The app also has the new menu that we saw Roblox experimenting with last year, I'll show you it right now. That looks great right? Before we end this video. I'd just like to show the tutorial with Python programming, this method does not require updating every week. Since I don't have Python installed, I can't try this out myself but if you have it installed and want to try it out for yourself, open notepad and paste the script shown on screen, then save the file and in the drop down, select all files and call your file roblox.py or something similar. If this doesn't work, change the local app data text in the versions variable to program files, x86. Thanks for watching, I would just like to thank everyone for 10k views on the previous tutorial, have a great day.